Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanolids of Dawn. I'm your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever, whichever you prefer. And we are into an exhibition match between Etsuri and Ultra Godzilla at Ultra Godzilla's request. They actually asked me for this a couple weeks ago, but I was busy last week, so we're doing it now. Ultra Godzilla going in for shields, and Etsuri going in for light vehicles. A factory which kind of has seemed a little bit weak recently. I mean, against shields especially, I feel like it's going to have a tough time. I'm curious what Etsuri is going to do here, but shields... Like, Racketeers, Felons, that combination really makes it difficult for Light Vehicles to get in and do much of anything. Or just Outlaw Thug. Outlaw Thug, because the Outlaw buffs, which I believe are in this patch, this has been an old replay, but I'm fairly certain this has the Outlaw buff in it. The Outlaw buffs mean that the range and slow of Outlaws is large enough that Fencer Ripper can't really deal with it, because Fencers can't deal enough damage to get through the shields, and Rippers can't get close enough before the Outlaw destroys them. So it becomes a real problem going into the game for light vehicles. Which, I mean, Dominatrices can come up, but that's where Racketeers come in to take out the Dominatrix. So this is a tough matchup for Etsuri, but I'm curious what they do to deal with it. Because they are they are better at the game than I am. And I was having problems with those exact things, but maybe they won't. Maybe they will have a much easier time actually dealing with all this stuff. Since they're not as concerned with... I just... I guess just remembering how the game works. Uh, sorry, if you've been watching my streams recently, I have been kind of demonstrating some issues with remembering how the game works. So, yeah, that's that's on me. I have been practicing. Anyway. Ah. What in the world? So, yeah. As for the rest of the game, though, Ultra Godzilla definitely winning out a little bit on economy. Managed to keep their, their convict alive, which I'm a little bit... I mean, a little bit disappointed for Etsuri by, but that shouldn't be a major deal. All, however, we're already seeing Ultra Godzilla go in for the Outlaws. They already get in the Thug Outlaw, knowing this is just how it works. And to be fair, it was actually Ultra Godzilla that was ta I was talking to who was really telling me about the, the way the matchup is so difficult for shields. Or sorry, for light vehicles compared to shields because of this exact reason. So, yeah, they would know. I'm, I'm imagining this game really demonstrates how much Thug Law can destroy light vehicles because of how much they were hyping that up. Rather surprising, though, that we didn't really see a whole lot of harassment early on. Same time, though, we are seeing Scorch come in here, unable to kill anything, trying to get to the Convict, but getting blocked off in the process, so that Convict stays very much alive, and that means Ultra is going to have no problem building up, but at the same time, we do have Etsuri just double-checking the Northeast, do have them trying to set up around here over to the South, and just trying to see if they can find any way of getting in, or the East, rather. See if they can find any way of actually getting in here. Though it seems a little less than promising. Same time though, Ultra Godzilla coming in with a bit of a raid. Shouldn't be able to find too much, but does at least get an idea of how much Etsu 3 has built up. Because that is the important thing. If Ultra Godzilla knows where they can expand, they can just expand, and then they're they're good to go. That being said, they are actually fairly even. Like Ultra Godzilla and Etsu 3 both fairly even on economy. Ultra Godzilla hasn't really gotten a critical mass of units yet. They only have like one thug, one outlaw, racketeer. Not a bad mix, but it's not super close together. So there is a theoretical way for Etsuri to come in and actually start taking this out. Etsuri does have a bit of an advantage right now. They do they actually are going for a really good choice of unit set here. Couple down couple Domies, Rippers. Not a bad combo. It will be a little bit tricky to make sure that works, but it should at least help. If the dominatrices go for the outlaws and the Rippers take out the shields, then we have a chance. Or, heck, the, Ripper, the Dominus can take out anything. As long as the Rippers come in and splash damage out those shields, that takes care of a lot of problems. That is really where the main issue comes in for the Light Vehicle Factory, is dealing with the Rippers. Sorry, dealing with the shields. Getting through the shields, which Rippers can do. And that being said, though, Ultra Godzilla, they're expanding quite heavily over to the Northeast, which... Is a problem for Etsuri. Etsuri taking the southwest, but it's already being somewhat protected. They're forced to build up defenses and as a result expand slower than I'm sure they'd like to. Same time though, we do have the Rippers, the Dommies behind them. I like this leashing the Dominatrix to make sure it doesn't get too far ahead, but still stays with the Ripper. Not something you see a huge amount done. Like having the guard command just as a way of keeping units at a safe distance. But it is a really good idea in this case. However, this is going to be the moment of truth coming up in just a second. The Ripper is going to be coming in here. Should be able to start dealing some damage. I don't think Et Ultra Godzilla is aware. No, they're not aware of anything being built over the side here. But Ultra Godzilla is very much aware of where Etsuri has landed themselves. 
And already the Ractors are coming in, taking us one of the Dominatrices. The Ripper should be able to take out a couple Metal Extractors. This Lotus is going to be a bit of a problem. Was going to be a bit of a problem. Dominate coming in and taking that over. And now the Thug's coming in here to start trying to actually engage properly. And running into a bit of a problem with that Lotus. Can't really come in here. Have to worry about dealing with that. But at the same time, that Racketeer is here. Is dealing some damage. Bandits are being captured. That's the entire point of the Bandits, though, is to get, rid of the, get in the way of the Dommies. The Dommie getting forced back. Ripper's taking out the Bandits, but is being overwhelmed. Domination is completely disarmed. The Ripper should be torn to pieces as a Thug-Bandit combo destroys the one attack group from Etsuri. That will make it very difficult for Etsuri to continue harassing the Northwest. But at the same time, Etsuri has continued to build up their forces, so they are still in a good position to actually keep going. I don't agree with the forces being entirely dominatrix, though. Like, Ripper Dami kind of makes sense, but they... Okay, they do have darts coming in. Not a bad idea. That will at least help distract the bandits a little bit. But these Dommies are going to be torn apart by the Racketeers. Like, that's the key thing. They're going to get taken by the Racketeers. They're only going to be capturing bandits unless they're... Unless there's a lot of care taken in what is actually being captured. Or we'll get the anti-synergy like that, where the Dominatrix captures a bandit and the Ripper decides to blow it to pieces. That's another option, which is also a bit of a problem. Of course, what I'd like to see is... Oh, actually, the Dominatrix takes the Racketeer. That'd be perfect. I mean, I'd like to see if Retsuri's case is the Domi taking out the Outlaw or the Racketeer. One of the two. But anyway, here's the moment of truth, though, for the Ripper. And this is the exact problem. The Ripper trying to come in here, deal some damage to the shields. The Outlaw is, however, not in front. That is leaving quite a bit of room open here for the Racketeer to actually deal some damage. But having been slowed down by the Outlaw already makes it very difficult for actually dealing any meaningful damage. However, Racketeer is getting captured. There's one Racketeer captured. I can start taking out the Outlaw along with the, along with the Commander and Faraday. Or not, the Commander doesn't have a lightning gun. What am I saying? It does have a lightning gun. I am correct. But more importantly, that Faraday getting a lot of stuns in. Which is kind of necessary right now because status effects do a huge amount of damage to shields. But there's not a lot that the Vehicle Factory has as far as inflicting status effects. They have the Dart, and that's about it. They don't really have much else. At the same time, though, they do have to deal with the fact that there's... A lot of units coming in here, and more importantly, Etsuri is kind of set up across the entire map. That being said, the Dominatrices are doing a great job just taking out thug after thug, turning this army around. Ultra Godzilla, between the thugs and the EMP, or between the thug capture and the EMPs, is having a very difficult time maintaining their army in any halfway decent position. Felon now goes over to Etsuri. There we go. Etsuri might be able to turn this entirely around as Ultra Godzilla is just being turned back at the gates. Unfortunately for Etsuri, though, Ultra Godzilla has built up quite a bit in the Northeast. So this battle, while it is going quite in favor of Etsuri, as they basically managed to turn most of these forces around, can just repair them and have Ultra Godzilla's army for themselves. Etsuri is still in an awkward position right now, where one, for one thing, they have to be very careful about how they use these dummies. Because if those dominators get in a bad position, that's a massive turnaround on forces. But they also have to be careful because dominatrices are... Like, they're doing the job, they're doing some damage, that's great. But, there's also a lot of money being spent for Ultra Godzilla, now getting air units. Just getting their planes up, because why not? And really, why not? It's a great idea to do. So, while Etsuri does have this army over in the north, or the southwest, is able to start taking out some of the expansion attempts, Ultra Godzilla is assaulting again in the forward side, and there's nothing to block it! This half dozen unit strong army coming into the main base with Etsuri having one dominatrix to try to turn it around and basically trying to put pressure on the other side. Like go in here over to the northwest ish center west northwest try to take out the rest of what Ultra Godzilla has built up because at the moment Ultra Godzilla doesn't really have anything. Not in the back. Not much to take care of what's being pushed forward but at the same time the dominatrices are in the front lines that is not where they want to be if those dummies get too far in the front lines they will be killed I mean, turning the radar around is nice, but those dummies are absolutely precious. They cannot die without causing loads of problems for Ezra. This entire Ezra's entire game plan is making sure this dominatrix survive, and that is not happening. One of the dominatrices turn around. The one that captured the felon turn around. The rest of them turn around, and Ezra loses the entire army they captured from Ultra Godzilla. Ultra Godzilla gets the army back in the middle of their army, so everything is already regrouped for them. At the same time, Ezra's main base is being torn apart by felons. And Dominic's trying their best to deal with that, but that's where the Ravager, actually the Racketeers come in, and the Racketeers really can't do too much. I mean, sorry. I mean, they can't do too much, but they can do enough. Actually, no, they can't do too much, because they're already dead. 
But it doesn't even matter. Ultra Godzilla takes the game as S3, basically unable to push in. As mentioned, it is a tough matchup. And Ripper Dami, not a bad choice, but was directly countered. And that is that. So we're going to be moving on to another game, which is going to be on another request. Where's the window I had for these requests? Oh, here it is. Another request match is going to be King's Dad against Ultra Godzilla on Into Battle. So stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple minutes.